friends, hope you're having an amazing week. I always come back from the three-day weekend fired up, recharged, it's so good to take that time. Today is something really important to talk about, which is how to give customers options so that they are in the driver's seat and that they can choose how they lock in their interest rate, how they have options with payment and cash to close and how we educate people. I will tell you that now more than ever, in order to preserve our position in this industry, which is high value, consulting with clients, building relationships, we need to generate more leads than ever. We need to have more conversations than ever, and we have to do a better job consulting our clients. If not, we are irrelevant. They can go to some algorithm on the computer and get a mortgage. Any computer could tell people what their amortization schedule looks like, what a sample payment looks like, can pitch them 20 different mortgage options that are faceless and nameless. We are going to stand out because we really consult people, we educate people, we give them options, and we help them understand what is best for their scenario. So we was in a class last month with Oleg Tech, one of our top producers at Guild, along with a realtor, Jay Fletch, and they were talking about closing skills. And they were talking about this process of giving clients an option. So Jay Fletch is a great listing agent, sells 200 homes a year, and when he's done meeting with the client, he says, now you know my value, he's gone over testimonials, he's built rapport with the client, they have shown signs that they wanna do business. He goes, well, I have three different options to list your house. First option is I can charge 6%. Second option, I can charge 6.5%. Third option, I can charge 7%, okay? Now, most agents out there are scared to provide their value. Many of them are discounting themselves and saying, I'll do it for 4%, you know, I'll do it for one and a half. And they are pulling back instead of selling harder, instead of providing more value, instead of really building rapport, they're shrinking back. In our industry, in the mortgage industry, people are starting to wonder, should I go work for a big bank? Should I go work at a call center? Should I go work on a big team? Or am I going to make it as a rainmaker, going and originating business, making the phone ring, generating leads? So number one, you gotta generate the leads, and then number two, you've got to show your value and give people options. Now for Jay, all three of these options work. Whether a client takes a 6% listing, a six and a half, or a seven percent, it works for his business model. It makes sense, it makes money. The money works, the effort works, the time works, it all works for him, but he gives them a choice. Now, of course, with each of these, he says, for six percent, you get X, Y, and Z. For six and a half, you get X, Y, Z, A, B, C. And for seven percent, you get all this stuff. What do you think most of the population picks? If you pick number two, you are right. Okay, here's why, here's the psychology behind this. Option number one, 15% of the population pick that option, okay? Because they just want the cheapest no matter what. There are the people when they go to the car wash, they pick the cheapest car wash. They pick the economy car when they check out. They just, whatever cereals are there, they pick the cheapest, that's just what they're going to do. But still, he got 6%. Whereas a lot of agents are, their lowest is 4%, okay? now. 80%, 80% of the population pick the middle one. And you wanna know why, Lauren? Because they don't wanna be cheap. That's me. If you give me three options, I don't wanna be the cheapo that's picking the very bottom. I don't wanna have the car that's gonna break down on the side of the road. I don't wanna have the, get the car wash that I spent the money and I didn't really get any value. So I'm part of the 80% that's gonna pick the middle one, the one that's got some value where I'm not the cheapo but I don't overpay. Okay, then there's 5% of the population that's always going to pay the most. Okay, I tease my husband for him being part of the 5% because he's one of the ones where it's like, if it's more expensive, it has to be better. These are the people that buy the really fancy cars and the fancy shoes and they want the VIP package and they want the backstage and they want the ultimate spa experience. And when they get a pedicure, they, they want the hot stone and the rub down, the whole thing, right? So know psychologically that this is how people work. Don't undercut your value just because you think that everybody wants you to be cheap. They want good advice. They want value. They want to work with a professional. They want to work with somebody who comes highly recommended, who's hard to get into, that makes them feel special and valued as a customer. 
Same thing goes when you are giving people rate options, you need to tell them option one, two, and three, along with what payment and cash to close goes with those options. I simply do it like this. Option one, two, three. You know, based on what you told me, Mr. Buyer, you're hoping to have $15,000 out of pocket or 200,000 out of pocket. And your goal is to live in this house for 10 years. Does the house need remodeling? Do you need to buy appliances? Do you need to restore the kitchen? That might change your goals in terms of how much money you wanna put down. If you're only gonna stay in the house for two years, I want almost no closing costs because you're only staying there for two years. If you're gonna live there for 30 years, maybe it's a different strategy. So you need to show them three options. This one's 5% with the payment and the cash to close. This one is at 4.875. This one's at five and a quarter. So they can understand the cost to buy up the rate, the cost to buy down the rate, and how that affects them in the bottom line. People want the bottom line cash to close and payment. Now, once they've decided, you get to redisclose the loan with your loan estimate, all showing exactly what they picked. But don't get overcomplicated. Just give them three options and realize that we are there to advise them. This is why they choose us. I hope this has been helpful to you. I know for me, early on in my career, I just gave it away for free almost every time because I was so afraid of people not wanting to do business with me. And what I realized is I'm worth it. I'm going to never give up, never say never. I'm gonna stick with them through the end and I'm worth more, darn it. And when you believe that, you get more. Hope you have a great day.